This is a nice one to start with, isn't it? 100% of 578 is, of course, 578. If you've got all of a pot of gold with 578 things in it, then you get the whole lot, 578. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that, were you? Shall we see what we can write with? Let's do that one, shall we? I don't like this pink. We'll have to find a better way of changing it. So the next question, number seven, is 90% of nine. So let's go through the usual 10% of nine. Um, I wonder if I do that, well, what will happen? Oh, look. 10% equals, bring the decimal over, 0 0.9. And so we'll just take it away, 100%, take away 10% equals 9. So there's our, that was 100, take it away, Not take away, 9 can't do, borrow, so that's 8, 10 take away 9 is 1, bring down the decimal, 8 take away nothing is 8. Happy? So the answer is 8.1. Um, control A, control Z. I wonder how I can work out, should we have that as a background? Do you want that as background? We'll switch. Ta da Oh, cancel. So I don't know why. Now if I do that, we're writing in pink. Now we're writing white. Are you happy with white? The magic of the computer has always failed to um, have any of its, you know, I just, I don't. So we'll move on to the sums and let's be honest, I'm a lot better there. Oh look, number eight is also 90% of nine. Oh, it's 90. I thought it was nine like the last one. Oh, Sarah, you are stupid. Right, once again, so 10% equals it's a tenth of that which is nine and therefore 90 percent is this 100 percent here take away the nine which would be 81 and now let's see if we can get this right uh, command a command z 15 percent of one now with any luck at all you would know that 15 percent means 15 hundredths um, of, and we'll say a pound, should we make it a pound? So a hundredth of a pound is a penny, so 15%, that would equal 0 0.15. Ta-da! If you want to, you can find 10% of that. So 10% equals, move the decimal point, 0 0.1. 5% is half of that, which equals 0 0.05, do we agree? Because um, 10% of a pound would be 10 pence, 5% uh, would be 5 pence, and therefore 15% equals 0.15. Ta-da! Next one. Oh, 75%, 75% of 62. Do you have another color? I'm getting fed up with black. The way I personally would do this, and well, 75% is three quarters. So we could find one quarter of that. So 62 divided by four. Four goes into that twice, remainder two, four goes into that five times, give ourselves a decimal, carry one, two over. Four goes into that five. Does that sound right to you? That doesn't sound right. Why does it, because four times that would be a hundred. And that's without this bit, it certainly doesn't equal that. I made a mistake, and ah, this is the fun bit. Oh look, six into that goes one. What rubbish. Have you thought about getting a tutor that can do these things? Good. There's this button here. It will annoy you, and it will annoy me. It was sent by the good people of the tablet design things to annoy us. And it does. Right, let's have a look. Four goes into six once, Sarah, remainder two. 
4 goes into 22 5 times, remainder 2, bring down the decimal, 4 goes into that 5 times. Now that makes more sense, doesn't it? Because 15 times 4 is 60, and 4 lots, there are 4 lots of 50p would make £2. So there we have it. So that's 1 quarter. But we wanted 3 quarters, didn't we? So multiply it by 3. Uh, 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15 and 1 is 16. 1 times 3 is 3 and 1 is 4. There's one number after the decimal point, so move it along. Now, you could have brought it down and it will have ended up in the right part, but that was dumb luck rather than natural genius. So, 46.5. Uh, is that enough? Is that number 10? Yeah, I'll let you go for a moment and uh, go and have a wee or a cup of tea or something, and I'll see you in a minute. Bye.